Hey guys, welcome to the fifth round. We are up against Lewis uh, on the draw again, and this hand is kinda goodish. Like last time we played, he okay, so it's Grixis Diver. Last time we played, he was on Moonstompy, and I was able to win. So now it's against the boogeyman of the format, Grixis Diver, I at least I assume. And the hand is okay, like it's got, it's got solid mana, which is one of the most important parts about the matchup. So let's see what we can do. I'm considering playing the Nether Sentinel just for beatdown. Things like you get to beatdown, and if he kills it, it's not that bad. Um, but one problem I have with that is then he can daze one of our elves, and then we can't use Heritage to it in the next turn. Whereas if I do it like this, he can't stop that with daze. I hope he just plays Pyromancer and passes. Also, no probe, that feels so good. Death White, okay. And Ponder, okay. Feeling fine about both of those choices. And he shuffled, okay. Um, okay, let's try to trap him. I'm gonna play the Nettle Sentinel first, and then I'm gonna cast the Heritage Druid and hope that he forces the Heritage Druid. No, he doesn't. Okay. <laughs> Worth a try, I guess. Um, so, in this case, and since we don't have to fear any kind of mess removal in the first game, I guess he can daze that now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I guess we. Oh, we next leveled ourselves. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, it's not that bad in the first game because there's no mess removal, but yeah, I wanted to be super mana efficient, and by doing that, next leveled myself. <laughs> I mean, we get super punished if he finds Pro plus Therapy now. Even if he doesn't find Pro, like Green Sun Senate is a very likely thing for us to have in hand. And if he doesn't name Natural Order on a blind Pro here, then I would think that he has Force of Hell in hand. Man, trying to be cute. Oh, two mana? Two mana is good. Okay, pass? Yes, okay. Uh, let's not fuck this up this time. So, I want to establish the best friends team on this turn. Oh yeah, I, I was about to say, it's actually worth forcing this. Uh, force pitch force. Do we have enough to kill him with the greens and senate next turn? Uh, we might, but I think I'd still rather draw a card. I, I really, really, really believe in Elf's ability to just Grind these out, grind out these matches. Yeah, that's a decent draw. Um, thing is, I can attack here, but then he can attack back, and I'd rather not have him attack back. Even though you could make a case for like. Mm, like if he really wants to attack, he can still kill the Nettle Sentinel, but I think I'd, he'd rather kill the Heritage to it. What is this? Does he play? Does he play the Bird main deck? No. Oh, Angler. Okay. So no force. Now we can draw a Glimpse. Oh wow, that's aggressive. Uh, I think I will just take it. The game is probably about to end soonish, because the five five is a problem until we find another Senate. Or uh, maybe Voibot Symbiote, Glimpse, Natural Order, even Hardcast Behemoth will soon become a thing. Um, I think in this case I will actually hold the creature for, for Glimpse. So we're going to 14 now. Now she keeps falling off. So next turn we take seven. Maybe I should have blocked the young pyramids, I'm not sure. I think I might wanna block it. Actually, do I wanna block it now? Take seven. I think I will actually throw this in front of it. Maybe I wanted to throw Finchorn Elves in front of it. Because that card is the least value, and if you if we draw Wyward Symbiot and then he takes away a visionary at some point. Before that, that would be unfortunate. Come on, top deck. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. One, two, three. 
2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 mana. The problem is, like, the entire time I've been thinking he probably has spell pierce in hand. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Let's see how he, he reacts to us cracking the fetch land. Uh, no F6. He likes F his F6 a lot. Actually, he might not have F6 because he's got Deathrite Shaman. Uh, one, two, three, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we run straight into Spell Pierce. And I'm not sure he would have pitched Spell Pierce too far so far. But didn't have it last turn. Can we wait one more turn? We go to eight, we go to six. Like, I'm thinking about just getting Wildwood Symbiote because it stops Gurmak Angler. But the problem is, we still go to six, and then we draw three cards, then we go to four. We could do that. Hmm. I think I will play into it. Even if we fail, there's still a chance that we will have it in the next turn. I just, didn't I just say I believe in Elves' ability to grind this out? <laughs> I also believe in Elves just really wanting to win here. Yep. No stifle one time. Battle Cruiser operational. Okay, here we go. Finish him! Yeah, oh, Tropical Flooded. Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, that was, that seemed harder than the first game against this kind of deck usually is. But I think he also played it pretty correctly. Like, the way you want to play, like, at least from my perspective, the, the way you want to play Crickle Stava against Elves is to be super aggressive, to, like, attack their mana. Also, like, when he force of the Visionary, I think people aren't force of Visionary enough. Because sometimes there's boards where it, it feels like Elves is kind of giving away that they don't have anything great yet, like Glimpse. Uh, and also, like, no part of the best friends team. So you could consider, like, taking away the Visionary because it might draw, like, it's kind of like a time walk. Because it, if you have a lot of mana and you don't have to fear mess removal, then every additional card you draw feels like a time walk because there's so many top decks. Mm. I mean, yeah. So let's see. Of course, you could always argue for just countering the top deck, but it's not always that easy. There's other factors to consider, like Visionary being a card for Heritage Dude and stuff. I like this deck. Uh, I like this hand. <laughs> I also like this deck. In May, it's going to be my... I think it's late May, or early June, it's going to be my five-year anniversary of playing Elves and Legacy. Looking forward to that. Mm. I think I will play <coughs> Deathrite Shaman, even though it's quite likely to be killed on his turn. He might even daze it. No. But having these two is fine. And now we only need to find Decay. Like, the card I'm looking for is Decay here. He shows us Force of Her. Okay. Oh, Addict. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Mm, gonna go like this. Because having the Dried Arbor here is really important. Like when you go for a Glimpse turn, it's really important that you have something to use your untap effects on in a meaningful way. I just hope he doesn't play a Wasteland before he passes the turn. And also taps out of red, preferably. Uh, didn't shuffle, okay. Okay, no Wasteland at least. But I really, like, if I can draw a Prop Decay, I'm feeling really good. But I still need to draw it. Okay, are you gonna kill my draw it? Doesn't feel like. Like, you always get a feeling, like, from, from, oh, by the way, let's switch to this. For the dynamics involved on Magic Online, and the, the dynamic here didn't feel like he wanted to have priority in this end step again. If you spare, oh, Force, okay, that's super aggressive. I like it, that, like, in general, like, I also like it on this board, for me, but in general I like it out of the other deck. Um, well, do I want to replay this? No, I think I just want to get this guy down, and then maybe even have to kill next turn. I'm not even sure. <laughs> One, two. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just going to pass. 
I was considering playing this for another Arbor, but we can also get this to get another Elf, probably Quarian Ranger, and that might be even better. Okay, we don't have to fear our true name. Okay, that's pretty good for us here. One, two, three, four, five. I think we got it. Pretty sure we got it. Oh, or we can even just naturally draw it. Guess that helps. Send you a message. Okay, let's see. And then we just go for Le Big Crater Hoop. Carrier has arrived. And untap this guy. And untap this guy. And then we just attack for 50 or something. No trophies for me this turn thus far, that's actually true. Uh, I haven't, I don't know, I haven't been playing a lot during this season, but I only recently started doing it. And thus far there's a bunch of 4-1s, like this one. And yeah, let's see if I can, can actually get another one of those trophies, at least one of those for this season. By the way, I have a shortcut for screen. Oh, and I smash my entire wreck. So uh, we went four and one. We won against. Oh, don't don't make me remember what we played against this turn, <laughs> this time. Uh, but yeah, thanks thanks a lot for tuning in. Let me know how you liked it. Uh, let me know if you want to see anything specific out of elves in the future. I'm thinking about doing a series where I'm playing against a certain kind of deck a couple of times to explore the matchup a little deeper. Uh, something like you know one of the most played decks like Miracles, Grixis Delva. Uh, Probably not Death and Taxes is a bit too one-sided. I also wouldn't hate playing against A and T a couple of times, but I think I, I'd rather explore like the, the Delva or the Miracles matchups. But yeah, let me know what you think. Um, also, big shout out to all the people on Patreon who are supporting me. Um, like, you guys don't know how much stress you are lifting from my shoulders by by supporting me there. Even like if you think it's just one dollar, it certainly adds up. So, thank you so much. Really, I'm I'm really happy that you guys are around and appreciate what i'm doing so also everybody else on youtube on twitter on facebook uh, i don't always get to answer all of your facebook messages i'm sorry um i think it's better to contact me on twitter because that also like keeps your question a bit shorter and to the point and my response will also be uh, it's going to be a bit shorter and to the point and it's also there for more people to see so more people can benefit from it whereas on, if you send me a super long message on facebook it's there's less value for the entire community to for me to answer that. So, also just like show up to the to the elves Discord. Um, I don't know where to find the link. It should be somewhere in the elves thread on on the source. But if you want the link, you can also just tweet at me. Or if you need it, just yeah, right. Post here in the comments, and I will post the link to the elves Discord. I might actually just post it in response to this comment <laughs> to this video it's so late <laughs> so i hope you like this and see you again next time